All right, number 10. We have the polynomial function. We want to plot x intercepts and graph the polynomial. So to find x intercepts, we have to factor or use quadratic formula. So we're going to see if this will factor first. So notice they're changing s of x, f of x. It's all the same thing as y. Uh, we have x squared plus x minus 6. So to factor first, which is understood to be a 1 times 6. And the factors of 6 are 1 and 6, 2 and 3. We want to subtract those numbers to get a 1. And if you subtract 2 and 3, you get 1. So this will factor. And then you put the 2 and the 3 in. The first sign is positive. That tells us our bigger number. The second sign is negative. Tells us that they're going to be different. So it's factored. You set these equal to 0. And we get x equals positive 2 and x equals negative 3 when you set equal to 0 and solve. <clears throat> or you can just think of do the opposite sign. Sometimes you might have a number in front, so I'll show you the difference when we have that. Alright, so these are my x intercepts 2 and negative 3. So, number of x intercepts, there's 2. Um, positive 2 and negative 3 so this is step 1 of 2 we're going to submit that and now uh, step 3 says select the area above the x-axis to plot the curve for the region <clears throat> and select the area below the x-axis to plot the curve for the region for that region okay so I want to know what is our curve looking like uh, because this is a positive okay this front term leading term is positive that tells me my parabola is going to be opening upwards okay so that means it has to dip down below the x-axis so it can hit those two points and come back above you also know that because your y-intercept is negative 6 which tells you you go down 6 and your graph is going to cross at negative 6 so there's two ways to tell so I was drawing this it has to go below because of the negative 6 so um, we're going to click this area here that says our graph comes below crosses at negative 6 and then we submit okay, it's incomplete oh we have to actually click all the areas where the graph would, would be going Okay, so parabola looks this U shape has to go below and then has to go above to keep going in that same direction.